What's up, Crossroads? Happy Thursday. Glad that you are with us. Don't know when you'll be watching this. Um, very encouraged last night. Thank you for the messages that we got. Thank you to a senior that responded. Uh, looking forward to starting the Zoom. And I'm sorry, I forgot all about putting that number in there. Uh, I had somebody send me a message go, hey, those invisible numbers were great. And then they sent me a message went, oh, I uh, just saw your message. So sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to try to remember. Maybe I should do a slide. So remember, send me uh, seniors to our graduating seniors this year. Uh, send me your name and number, and we're going to set up a Zoom. And like I said, I'm going to start doing it through individual classes. Uh, depending on how many seniors we get between now and Wednesday, uh, we might do juniors and seniors. Uh, just because it would be really awkward if it's just me and one senior. So, hey, what are you doing? I was just chilling. What are you doing? you know just living life so uh, we're gonna try to reach out I just I want to spend time with you guys um, and that's really the best way I could think about doing it sorry I heard somebody come downstairs it's Thursday the office is closed so I'm the only one here and I was wondering who the boogeyman was it wasn't a boogeyman anyway um, the, the study that we did this morning, that I did this morning, I don't know how far along you are in this process, but it was, Jesus was talking about if someone came to your house in the middle of the night and they start knocking on the door, you've read it. Uh, I've always liked that because I've always thought, man, if somebody came in the middle of the night, uh, what would you do? And it says that the, the owner of the home, he would be there with all of his family. Uh, they all sleep in the same room because a house then isn't like what your house is today. It was just one big room. And he says that he wouldn't let that person in because that person was in need, but he would let them in because they were impudent. I think that's the way you say it, impudent. And that's that word, I, I had to look it up because I'm really dumb. But in looking that word up, it was talking about being rude. It was talking about this. But the, the way that I'm reading this, it's like he was persistent. He persevered. Ooh, we talked about that word last night. He talked about how uh, the, the reason he lets him in is because he doesn't just give up. He, he's going to, you know, wrap that door, continue knocking until uh, our prayer life needs to be that way. <clears throat> and it, God's not waiting for you to just continue to badger him until he finally goes, all right, all right. But he wants to know our prayers are sincere. They're genuine. And uh, you're not just throwing a prayer out there. You're, you really want this prayer request answered. I think it's vitally important that we understand when we pray, what we're praying for, and why we're praying for it. Uh, when Jesus prays uh, before his crucifixion, he says, not my will, but your will. That needs to be our mindset. Lord, I would love to see this happen, but God, it's not about me. Uh, over the past several months, there's been some some people in my life that have had some serious illnesses and I can remember praying uh, Lord I want to see a biblical miracle and to this day I still pray that prayer over that person God I read in your word where you healed people you didn't make them a little bit better you healed them and God that's what I'm praying for I believe you can still do that but even if you don't I'm still going to serve you. I'm still going to love you. And uh, we watched the movie Overcomer. Was it Overcomer? No, Facing the Giants. We watched that with, with Barrett the other day. And in watching that movie, um, there was a part of the movie, and, you know, it's, it's the movie's made by the actors from this church. Uh, some of the acting is not, not going to be your Hollywood acting, but it was, it was good. But there was one point where he was crying and she was crying because they were wanting to have a baby so bad. And he says, even if God doesn't give us a baby, will you still serve him? And she didn't answer. She just boohooed. And he boohooed. Towards the end of the movie, uh, you see her crying out to God. And she says, God, even if you don't give me this child, I still love you. And of course, in a perfect world movie set, uh, the paperwork was wrong. The lady comes right out and they start jumping up and down and going crazy because she's going to have a baby. Sometimes our prayers don't work like that. Sometimes we don't get the things that we're asking for. But we got to remember that God's plan is bigger than ours. Uh, during this time of quarantine, this time of separation, and as the state is loosening up, I uh, need you to hear 
uh, myself and the rest of your church staff, we've met numerous times this past week to lay out what the future plans for West End is, how we bring Crossroads back, how we bring West End back. Um, and we are looking at uh, like five different scenarios like last week. Next week, we'll probably have five more scenarios. Uh, but until that time comes, when we're able to get back together. Uh, these devotions, uh, I think, is a great way for us to kind of stay on the same page. Again, I would love to hear from you. Heard from one student yesterday who said, I'm alive. <laughs> Good enough for me. And I just said, great. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Shoot me a text on this number. Uh, that's my, my celly. Uh, celly. <laughs> Gosh. Hi, welcome to the 90s. Uh, that's my cell phone. Uh, hit me here on, um, not remind, what is this? Oh, text me. Hit me on text me here. Uh, let's just stay in touch. And uh, next week, we're going to be setting up some of these Zoom meetings just because I want to see you. Uh, when, I, when you get the information, man, please be a part of it. Uh, if you just do it one time, I just want to see you. And uh, I look forward to spending time with you. But more than anything, I look forward to seeing what you are on the other side of this. Let's allow God to finish his work in us. And you know, that was supposed to be my word last night was finish his work or my phrase, and it ended up being about perseverance. So it's amazing how God just changed. Anyway, Crossroads, I got to go. I'm the only person here at the office, and I'm going to clean my desk. Pray for me. Love you. See you.